Hello and welcome to 7 Days of Science. This week, my face is back, we've got some Pliosaur news, some Marianning news, and you better be watching Prehistoric Planet. Well, first in the paleontology news for this week, we have the exciting naming of a new genus and species of Pliosaurid, one of the large, short-necked members of the Plesiosaurians. Given the name Iardosaurus Powelli, after former assistant curator at the Oxford Natural History Museum H. Philip Powell, as well as from the Old English word Iard, meaning home, native soil, or dwelling, this remarkable specimen was found near Oxford in the UK and dates back to the Middle Jurassic. The fossil itself is really quite complete, with the skull and most of the body being intact and articulated, and it has actually been on display in the Oxford Museum for a few years before now finally receiving a formal description. Coming from the Oxford Clay Formation, Iardosaurus now brings the number of Pliosaur genera known in this formation up to at least six, making this a particularly rich Pliosaurid assemblage. The teeth of this animal also show an unusual feature that previously was only seen in a species of Liplurodon among mid-Jurassic Pliosaurids, indicating that this might be more widespread than we'd thought. Anyway, it's very nice to have some Plesiosaur news, it feels like it's been a while since we've had a new Pliosaur named. Up next is the wonderful news that the statue of Mary Anning has finally been unveiled in her hometown of Lyme Regis. Revealed on the 21st of May, her 223rd birthday, the statue has been the result of four years of campaigning by the amazing people at Mary Anning Rocks, and hundreds of people were in attendance to watch the monument be unveiled. It looks incredible, I can't wait to go and see it in person for myself. And there's even more exciting paleo news this week, as the documentary series Prehistoric Planet has finally arrived. Streaming on Apple TV+, Plus, which there's a one-week free trial for, by the way, it's been absolutely mind-blowing so far, and really, truly is everything I had hoped for in a modern dinosaur documentary. It's absolutely a very worthy successor to Walking with Dinosaurs. I can't wait to see what the last couple of episodes are going to show, there have been some stunning sequences, and honestly, I have to say, I think the pterosaurs have stolen the show so far. Seeing these bizarre, alien-looking animals performing such remarkable behaviours is an absolute treat. I'd highly recommend watching if you're at all interested in prehistoric life, the way these animals are portrayed so realistically is like nothing you've ever seen before. Well, that's it from me. I really hope you've enjoyed learning about what's been going on in the world of paleontology and paleomedia this week, and thanks for watching.